Hi, today we're going to be talking about using maps and globes in the classroom. Well, actually, we're just going to be using maps and globes in the classroom, and we'll talk about it a little bit afterwards. First, we need to look at a couple of key terms latitude, longitude, and key. See, key. Latitude. First, these are the lateral lines on a map. Lateral means kind of left to right. They're the lines on the globe that go east to west, from zero to the equator to 90 north or 90 south. Lateral lines get smaller or shorter as they go away from the equator. The equator is the widest point on the globe, and then as it goes up, it follows the curve and the lines get smaller. Longitude are the long lines on the globe. They go north to south. Every longitude line is the same length and goes north to south. So long for longitude, those are the long lines, and latitude is for the lateral lines and they get shorter. Now key is something on a map that is useful. Something that tells us important information. Now, using latitude and longitude. And to do this, we're going to look first at Google Earth. Now, I've already looked up the bearing straight on Google Earth, and I hold my mouse pointer right over it. And down at the bottom of the screen, you can clearly see the latitude and longitude lines. Now we're going to take my map of the world and we're going to look. We know that this is 66 degrees north, so I start at the equator and I move my finger north, looking at these points on the side to find north. So 60 degrees north, 66 degrees, there's 20 degrees between lines, so I know it's going to be pretty close to this solid line here. And then I look and I see it's 168 degrees west. So I look up here at the top and I see 20, 40, 60 west. I don't want to go east, I want to go west. So I look, I see 168, there's again 20 degrees, so it's going to be close to this line here. Now I look a little bit at the geography and see how the Bering Strait is situated. And then I go and I say, oh, okay. So the Bering Strait must be somewhere in here. This must be the Bering Strait here, this break between the two things. Now that brings us to another important point. Map distortion. When we look at this map, you notice that it's not square. It doesn't have cut edges. It has rounded edges. And that's to kind of try to fit everything on there. Now, this is a pretty common kind of a map that you're going to see around. But let's do something real quick. Let's take my globe. See? and try to wrap this map around it. Now you notice that no matter how many fingers I try and put on it, if I had more fingers, it would, it would squish a little bit more. But it doesn't exactly conform to the shape of the globe. And the reason that is, is because the map is flat, the globe is a sphere. You probably remember talking about this in your math or geometry classes. Now, that causes something called distortion. If you've ever uh, had a balloon and drew a picture on the balloon while it was deflated and then blew the balloon up, you'd see that distortion actually happened in real time. So today in class, we're going to take a look at maps. We're going to play with the globe a little bit. We're going to look at longitude, latitude, and use the key to discover some distances. Hope you're looking forward to it. I know I am.